students welcome to ed enigo an initiative by gate ese top 3 rankers ed enigo team is starting a new initiative where we will be providing the country's best video solutions of previous year questions of electronics electrical and instrumentation branch these video lectures will be available on our youtube channel that is named ed amigo so we are starting with the subject network theory and we will start with the previous year questions of electronics and communication branch so the question is why we are starting with network theory network theory we are starting because that is a common subject between these three branches that's the first point the second important point is network theory signal systems and control systems are the subjects that are very initial that are studied in the initial phase of our preparation because network theory will help you in solving the circuits of analog circuits so network theory is the first subject that students used to study those who start preparing for gate exams so that's why we are providing network theory in the first phase and within few weeks we will be providing the other subjects of electronics and communication and also the other subjects of electrical and instrumentation now let's look at the question why previous year questions are important so as i have already told you in a video that is available on the channel that why a student should prepare for gate in that video i have told you and i have shown some facts also that if you are getting in electronics and communication and instrumentation marks around 65 to 70 then you are under 100 rank but in electrical since the paper is little bit easier so you have to get 90 marks to get under 100 rank but still if you analyze the papers like if you analyze the gate 2019 paper then you can see that around 70% of the paper has the same pattern okay i don't i'm not saying that the questions are same i'm just saying that the pattern is same has the same pattern as that of previous years so if you are able to solve the previous year questions and if you are able to understand the concepts which are getting applied in the previous year questions then there are high chances that you will be getting around 65 to 70 marks in gate very easily and this much is sufficient for electronics and instrumentation for electrical students you can also analyze that 70 to 80% of the paper is similar so they just have to put some more efforts now it is a saying that whenever you are going to a war then you must understand and analyze your enemy so when your war is gate and your enemy is gate exam so you have to crack that enemy you have to crack the gate exam so you first of all has to analyze that what kind of questions they are asking and according to that you have to prepare okay so first step is to analyze that what kind of questions they are asking and the second step is to study and if you are doing this 
then you are on the correct path you will get a good rank in gate but if you are studying and then analyzing then it's a wrong path because if you are studying without analyzing then you will be studying more than the required or if you are then or you will be studying less than required so first analyze and then study so if you talk about the importance of previous year gate exams the importance is you have to solve the previous year questions i'm not saying you have to solve from 1990s to 2019 only if you are able to solve from 2005 to 2019 if you are preparing for gate 2020 then this much gate previous year questions are more than sufficient and on this channel we will be providing you the video solutions of 2005 to 2019 gate previous year questions subject wise for electronics electrical and instrumentation branch now when you should study the previous year questions that's a basic question we have seen that they are important now we will see when you should study them now let's answer the question when to study the gate previous year questions according to my analysis and experience a student should study gate previous year questions four times before attempting the gate paper for example if a student is going to attempt for gate 2020 then let's suppose that a student is starting the preparation in july and the paper is in february february 2020 and study started studying from july 2019 so the first attempt to the previous year question papers should be before starting the preparation for example if a student is starting the network theory subject from today then first of all he must go through the previous year questions of the network theory so that he can understand so the motive of studying before starting the subject is to understand the depth of questions which are been asked by gate so they must know that what kind of questions gate is asking now after this for example if a student is able to finish the for example network theory within 10 days or 12 days then after completing the syllabus of network theory he must attempt for the previous year one more time so that he must know that all the points are covered he is able to attempt all the paper all the questions or not so after completing the subject for example in 10 days if he is able to complete network theory then after 10 days he must go through all the previous years and must analyze that if he is able to solve them or not so this is first time this is second time third time he must attempt between november to december 2019 so this is the third time so that if any point is left he can revise and finally before february 2020 before attempting the paper of gate 2020 in january 2019 a final revision of previous year gate questions is most important so that he is enlightened with the kind of concepts which gate used to ask and if any kind of concept is repeated then his mind is very much enlightened to solve the questions easily while giving the gate 2020 paper so at least four times 
gate previous year questions has to be solved by the student while preparing for a gate exam now let's look at the importance of network theory because we are starting with the network theory subject for the previous years so let's look at the importance of network theory for electronic students so this is the data that i have collected 2019 18 17 and 16 so on an average you can see that network theory which is a simple subject has a range of marks from 5 to 10 so on an average you can say that 7 marks is an average for electronics and communication branch for network theory so that's a very important subject because it's a very scoring subject it's a easier subject a student must cover this subject thoroughly so that these seven marks are not gone anywhere so the student is able to get these seven marks very easily now for electrical gate exam we can see that the marks are higher so importance of network theory for electrical is more and we can see that approximately every year 10 marks are from network theory in electrical gate exam so it's a very important subject for electrical now for instrumentation again we can see the importance is very high approximately 10 to 11 marks is the average so every year instrumentation gate exam has approximately 10 marks or 11 marks given to network theory so for instrumentation also it is very important now the lecture series which we are starting for network theory electronics previous year gate questions so we have divided it into five topics here we have removed the graph theory topic because it is now no more in the electronics network theory syllabus so we have not solved the previous year of graph theory in this lecture series we have not covered that because there is no need to do that so there are five topics the basic concepts the network theorems the transient analysis sinusoidal steady state response and the two port networks so we have thoroughly covered all the questions which are important from 2005 to 2019 so before studying the subject you can go through the lecture series and see the kind of questions they have asked after completing the subject you can again go through the lecture series and we will be providing you the pdfs of the solution that is the pdf which is being created in the video itself will be provided to you and you can download them and you can solve them on your own so all the best guys thank you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned thank you